To prove a statement is not an identity, find a value that makes the statement false. Which angle proves the square of sine theta plus cosine theta equals sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is not an identity. So our goal is to find which of these angles makes the equation false. The first angle is theta equals zero radians. Let's begin by determining the value of cosine zero radians and sine zero radians. Looking at the unit circle, the terminal side of zero radians in standard position is along the positive x-axis, which intersects the unit circle at the point one comma zero, where x equals one and y equals zero. On the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta, and therefore cosine zero equals one and sine zero equals zero. Now that we know these two trig function values, we substitute them into the equation to see if it makes the equation true or false. So on the left side of the equation, we have the square of sine zero plus cosine zero, where sine zero is zero and cosine zero is one, equals on the right side, we have sine squared zero, which is zero squared, plus cosine squared zero, which is one squared. And now simplifying on the left, we have one squared, equals on the right side, we also have one squared. One equals one is true, and therefore theta equals zero radians is a solution to the equation, but we're looking for an angle that makes the equation false, which will show this is not an identity. So we don't check zero radians and move to the next angle, which is pi radians. So we first need to find the value of cosine pi and sine pi. Going back to the unit circle, the terminal side of pi radians in standard position is along the negative x-axis here, which intersects the unit circle at the point negative one, zero, and therefore cosine pi is equal to negative one, and sine pi is equal to zero. And now substituting these values into the equation, on the left, we have the square of sine pi, which is zero, plus cosine pi, which is negative one, equals on the right side, sine squared pi is equal to zero squared, plus cosine squared pi is equal to the square of negative one. Simplifying on the left, we have the square of negative one. Simplifying on the right, we also have the square of negative one, which is equal to positive one. Theta equals pi radians is another solution to the given equation. So now we move to the next angle, which is three pi over two radians. We begin by determining cosine three pi over two radians and then sine three pi over two radians. Going back to the unit circle, the terminal side of three pi over two radians in standard position is along the negative y axis where x equals zero and y equals negative one, which means cosine three pi over two is equal to zero, sine three pi over two is equal to negative one. Substituting these values into the equation on the left, we have the square of sine three pi over two, which is negative one, plus cosine three pi over two, which is zero, equals on the right, sine squared three pi over two is the square of negative one, plus cosine squared three pi over two is the square of zero. Simplifying once again, we have the square of negative one equals the square of negative one, which is equal to one. So the last angle to check is pi over four radians. We begin by determining cosine pi over four and sine pi over four. The terminal side of pi over four radians in standard position intersects the unit circle at this point here, where both the x-coordinate and y-coordinate are square root of two divided by two, which means both the sine and cosine function values are square root of two divided by two when theta equals pi over four. And now we substitute these values into the equation. On the left, we have the square of sine pi over four is square root of two divided by two plus cosine pi over four is also square root of two divided by two. Equals on the right, sine squared pi over four is equal to the square of square root of two divided by two plus cosine squared pi over four is also the square of square root of two divided by two. 
Simplifying on the left, square root two over two plus square root two over two is equal to two square root two over two, and this is still squared, equals on the right. The square of square root two over two is two fourths here as well as here. Before squaring here, we can simplify. Two divided by two simplifies to one. The square of square root two is two. So we have two equals two fourths plus two fourths is four fourths, which is equal to one. And since two does not equal one, theta equals pi over four is one angle that shows the given equation is not an identity. An identity would be true for any angle. So we check theta equals pi over four. I hope you found this helpful.